Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross, and today I am reviewing Krampus. So, directed by Michael Doherty, starring Adam Scott, Tony Collette, David Cochina, uh, Alison Tolman, uh, Cochenta Ferrer. Feral, um, MJ, Anthony, Stefina, Stefanina, Stefina, Levi, Owen, and Krista, uh, Stab, Stad or something. Um, so this is a Christmas comedy horror film where there is a family three days before Christmas where they have a huge argument and stuff, and the young kid of the family. You know, he just, you know, called Max, he just, you know, has enough and rips up his letter to Santa and lets it blow in the wind. Little of him knowing that he summons something evil. And it's no Saint Nicholas, only but his shadow, Krampus, who doesn't come to reward but to punish, and not to give but to take. And the old granny of the family has a knowledge of this demon because she encountered him many times years before when she was a young child and of course the family start getting picked off one by one by Krampus and his minions and we have some comical gingerbread men along the way so that is the plot there so what did I like about this film well I saw it when it came out in 2015 and I still think it's a good festive horror film and it introduced me to the mythology and the legend of that is Krampus because I had no idea we had an evil anti-Santa, and since this film I've been obsessed with the mythology of this Christmas demon, Krampus, and I liked it. I liked the effects in it. Some of the effects were a bit tacky like the gingerbread men, but it was like B-movie style, and I, I enjoyed that. I also liked the practical effects we got for Krampus, if they were practical. If they were CGI, then that was very well done, and, you know... I like to think this is also set in the same universe as, you know, Trick or Treat, because it is directed by the same guy who did that, uh, Trick or Treat, Michael Doherty. Uh, and, yeah, I like the dark Christmas elements, especially that jack-in-the-box that looks like a massive python now he swallows people up. That's quite grim, but I like that monstrous look on it. An evil jack-in-the-box. I mean, clowns are scary enough as it is, but to have it as a big giant serpent-like creature. And, um, you know, we had some good performances in there from our lead actors and the family. I mean, I can go, I can like sympathize with this kid because he, you know, he doesn't want a family arguing at Christmas. He just wants to have a jolly Christmas. And the end, he gets that. And then the ending comes. Now, the ending... I like the ending because it's like sort of open. It makes me think, did Krampus give Max and his family a second chance, but would be keeping a close eye on them from now on with the snow globe? Or are they trapped in that snow globe where they're forced to relive Christmas Day for all eternity? That's my theory on there. Those are my two possibilities on how it could happen, and I don't know which one it was, but yeah, I'd prefer the whole, you know, Krampus keeping an eye on me thing. Yeah. But anyway, is this film worth watching? Yeah, I'd say it's worth watching. It's about seven years ago now since this came out, and I do watch it every year or every other year or so. I don't always watch it, but, you know, I thought now would be a time for a revisit, and it's still okay. It's, it's you know, quite B-movie-ish, but it's still enjoyable. So, my ratings, I think I will give Krampus, you know what, I'll give it three and a half Krampus switches out of five. Three and a half Krampus switches out of five for Krampus. So there you go, here is my first Christmassy horror review of the year, so yeah, be sure to, you know, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are linked down below in the description so you can check all that out. I've been Random Russ and this has been a revolting review on Krampus. So until next time, 
Do it have nightmares. <laughs> Thank you.